China is setting its sights on the stars like never before. With the release of its first ever national medium and long-term development plan for space science 2024 to 2050, China is charting an audacious course to become a global leader in space exploration by mid-century. This bold roadmap aims to unravel the universe's deepest mysteries from the enigma of dark matter and gravitational waves to the quest for extraterrestrial life. In this video, we'll dive deep into China's visionary strategy, explore the fascinating themes they're targeting, and see how they plan to turn this cosmic dream into reality. At the heart of China's space science plan are five major scientific themes, each targeting a different aspect of cosmic exploration. Let's delve into what makes each of these themes so captivating and crucial for our understanding of the universe. Extreme Universe First up is the extreme universe. This theme is all about exploring the origin and evolution of the universe by studying phenomena under extreme cosmic conditions. Think about events like supernovae, black holes, and neutron stars cosmic laboratories where the laws of physics are pushed to their limits. By investigating dark matter and the detection of baryonic matter, China aims to uncover the hidden mass of the universe. This could potentially solve long-standing puzzles in astrophysics and provide insights into how the universe has evolved over billions of years. Space-time ripples. Next is space-time ripples, which focuses on detecting low-frequency and primordial gravitational waves. You might recall that gravitational waves were first directly detected in 2015, a discovery that confirmed a major prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity. China's plan to detect these waves from space could reveal information about events like the merging of supermassive black holes and even shed light on conditions just after the Big Bang. This would deepen our understanding of gravity and could potentially uncover new physics beyond our current theories. Panorama of the Earth and Sun The third theme is Panorama of the Earth and Sun. This involves studying the complex interactions within the Sun-Earth system and the heliosphere, the vast bubble, like region of space dominated by the solar wind. By focusing on Earth's circulation systems, comprehensive Earth-Moon observations, space weather detection, and solar stereoscopic exploration, China aims to improve our ability to predict space weather events. This has practical implications for protecting satellites, communication networks, and even power grids on Earth from solar storms. Habitable planets. Perhaps the most intriguing theme is habitable planets. This is where China plans to assess the habitability of celestial bodies within our solar system and explore exoplanets orbiting other stars. Key areas include the search for extraterrestrial life and understanding the conditions that make a planet hospitable. By characterizing planetary layers and atmospheres, we could identify worlds that might support life or even become future destinations for human exploration. A quest that taps into one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Biological and physical space science. Finally, there's biological and physical space science. This theme aims to reveal the laws of matter movement and life activities under space conditions. By studying microgravity science, quantum mechanics, general relativity, and space life sciences, China hopes to deepen our understanding of fundamental physics. Experiments conducted in space can eliminate variables like gravity, allowing scientists to observe phenomena in new ways. This could lead to breakthroughs in everything from material science to biotechnology. Now that we've explored the what and the why, let's dive into the how China's plan isn't just a list of goals, it's a detailed roadmap divided into three distinct stages, each building upon the last to achieve their vision by 2050. First stage, now to 2027. In the immediate future, China plans to focus on several key missions. They'll maintain and operate the Tiangong space station, which is already a significant achievement in its own right. This orbital platform will serve as a hub for various scientific experiments and a stepping stone for further exploration. Additionally, China is gearing up for manned lunar exploration, building on the success of the Chang'e missions, which have already landed rovers on the moon. The next steps involve sending astronauts to the lunar surface. This includes advancing the fourth phase of the lunar exploration project and the planetary exploration project, 
During this stage, they aim to validate and approve five to eight space science satellite missions, setting the groundwork for future discoveries. Second stage, 2028 to 2035. The second stage ramps things up considerably. China plans to continue operating and possibly expanding the Tiangong space station. More excitingly, they'll begin constructing the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS. This lunar base will not only serve as a platform for scientific research, but could also be a collaborative effort involving other nations. In this phase, they plan to implement about 15 space science satellite missions. The focus will be on achieving original scientific accomplishments that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with global research. The technologies and knowledge gained during this period will be crucial for more ambitious endeavors, like potential crewed missions to Mars. Third stage, 2036 to 2050. The final stage is where China's vision truly reaches for the stars. Over these 14 years, they plan to carry out more than 30 space science missions. This could include deep space exploration, advanced studies of exoplanets, and perhaps even the establishment of a permanent base on Mars. The expected achievements are nothing short of groundbreaking. China aims to attain significant advancements in key scientific areas, effectively positioning itself as a world leader in space science and exploration. This isn't just about prestige the discoveries made could have profound implications for technology, industry, and our understanding of life itself. China's National Medium and Long-Term Development Plan for Space Science 2024 to 2050 is a bold strategy aiming to push the boundaries of space exploration and scientific discovery. It seeks to address fundamental questions like the nature of dark matter, the origins of the universe, and the potential for life beyond Earth. This plan isn't just a national effort, it's a strategic move positioning China as a major space power alongside global leaders like the US and Russia. With past achievements like the Tiangong space station and successful lunar missions, China is ready to take the next step. The plan's success could accelerate global space advancements, foster international collaborations, and inspire new technological breakthroughs. This strategic vision sets the stage for China's potential leadership in space science, shaping the future of our cosmic understanding. China's National Medium and Long-Term Development Plan for Space Science 2024 to 2050 is more than an ambitious agenda, it's a transformative vision that could redefine humanity's relationship with space. By systematically addressing some of the most profound questions in science, China is not just aiming to catch up with other spacefaring nations, but to leap ahead. The potential global impact of this plan is immense. New discoveries about dark matter, gravitational waves, or extraterrestrial life could revolutionize multiple scientific fields. Technological advancements born from overcoming the challenges of space exploration often find applications here on Earth, improving our daily lives in ways we might not anticipate. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey through China's ambitious space science plan. If you found this video enlightening, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the wonders of the universe. Until next time, Keep looking up.